I'm Tasia. And I'm Tiana. You are watching TNT Cooking. If you would like to see us make some delicious game day snacks, just keep watching. Woo! are making some onion rings and some mozzarella sticks. <laughs> it is the first Sunday of the football season and you obviously have to have snacks for your football party. It's obviously. It's obviously. Like, it's not a eat? sports game thing if you don't have the food to snack. So, <laughs> the, both the mozzarella sticks and the onion rings are going to be double battered so they're going to be super crunchy and delicious. Yum. The, another thing that you will need is a deep fryer which we do have or you can use a pot on the stove and you need enough oil to cover your onion. We're gonna deep fry our onion rings, but if you wanna be a little bit fake healthy like I'd like to be, we're also going to bake our mozzarella cheese sticks because it's healthier if you put it in the oven, regardless that it's just cheese. <laughs> the very first thing we did is cut our cheese into nice, even size rectangles and then we pop them into the freezer so they can be frozen when it's time to bake. Alright so we started with our onion rings. First we had Tasia chop them up into little ring rings. You chop it on the wide side. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Yes the wide the thick the the thickest side of the onion. Yeah, and then you cut it into little slices, and then once you cut it into slices, you just push out the little rings, and then you have your onion rings. One onion will give you a bunch of rings, and you can also use the smaller pieces that are too small to be rings, and later cooking, just put them in your fridge. Next, you are going to coat your, all your onion rings in the flour. So we use a flour bin mixed with salt, pepper, garlic powder, chili powder. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. And we put all that in the flour and then we coated the um, onion rings in the flour like she said. The next, we put our flour batter into an egg butter that we also made. Right, and the egg butter was just um, one egg and some milk. We mixed the flour mixture in with that to make an actual like batter. You can also add uh, beer into it instead of milk if you want beer batter onion rings, but I don't drink and she can't drink, so we didn't add beer. <laughs> so then, you take the, uh, your onion rings that are coated in flour and you dip it into your batter and then you take that and you dip it into your breadcrumbs. Then you coat your onion rings in it. Throw them in your rings. And then you let it cook until it's nice and deliciously brown. It took about five minutes. And then you pop it right out. And then voila, you have onion rings. Delicious. So then we made our mozzarella sticks. Delicious, delicious mozzarella sticks. So we essentially did the same thing for the onion rings that we did for the mozzarella stick. Except we didn't put our, our flour into our egg. Right, and we also did not use milk, we just used a straight egg batter. So we took our seasoned flour, this time I seasoned it with salt and pepper and garlic powder and paprika. And then you roll it around in there, um, then you take it out of the flour, put it into your egg mixture. Then you take it out of your egg mixture and put it into your breadcrumbs. We put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about four or five minutes, depending on your oven. Well, here is the mozzarella sticks. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click right over there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below your favorite game day snack. We are still not at 100 subscribers. It's so please, please subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Send this video to your closest friend and tell them to subscribe. Or just steal their phone and subscribe for them. Alright, let's try it. So I've never in my entire life had an onion ring. Because I don't like onions. So we're about to see. 
I like it. I like it a lot.